Jason Belmonte begins his hopeful march through our stepladder final with the meeting against Jason Sterner. Nobody, nobody has ever won it four times. Could that change today? Not at all how he wanted to start. Have been practicing between, I'd say, first and second arrow. And I didn't see that coming. I don't think Jason did either. Open frame in the first. Sterner, your four seed. Belmo had to win twice last night over Andrew Anderson and Kyle Troop just to get here. Final step ladder. Boy, a lot went on in that 10th frame, didn't no it? No kidding. No kidding. Yeah. Late night as well. Past 11 p.m. Eastern. Here we are in the noon hour, and Belmo with his first strike. So open frame, spare strike, trending in the right direction. Right out of the gate. That gets him into, I think, his comfort zone without any question. If he starts out with a strike out of the gate, then I think he stays with that non-reactive sure. ball farther right. bit inside on that last shot by Sterner. Purpose of throwing your thing? That's what I thought. Left. Absolutely. Yeah, and the Don Johnson 40 just means the lanes have been oiled to 40 feet down the lane. Okay. Careful. It was now. You can see he flipped that one over and got it right, and yep. it just has no way it's going to get back. It's a pretty good result. Messenger! Most powerful strike ball out on tour, and it pretty much shows up right here. Ah, that is just brutal. <laughs> you and I never threw messages <laughs> like that ever. Sturner hasn't struck since the second. Changes that here in the sixth. What's taking you so long? He's heard it all week. And he responds with a strike, his fourth in a row. The kids like to call it a ham bone. Open frame spare and then four straight norm for Belmo. Yeah, not only four straight, but four straight really quality shots. And Yahtzee! You know, guys, for me, he makes it look easy. Uh, nice and thought. they're not easy. But they're not easy. Sterner working on a strike, closing out the seventh. Messenger takes out the 10. Needed that. Oh, 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 oh. That's getting it to hit, Randy. That yeah. is getting the ball to hit. And you learn to rip the right 10 down. out with a little bit of power. Also, the angle doesn't hurt any. Oh. He pretty much has to win this tournament if he wants to be anywhere in the conversation for another player of the year title. Huge effort here in the ninth. Oh. And not at all. This is a little in. What he Just expected. A little. You know, he's trying to set up the 10th frame, and like you said, right now, Jason Sterner with the hammer. Covers it. One more. Involved in that, and he gave a lot of credit to Bull U, talking about how that website, how that Instagram page helped contribute to his understanding of the play, the oil transition, to the strategies, and how they're being interpreted. Great intelligence offered there by Bull U, and we call him Rick Benoit. I was just going to say that, but <laughs> I, I didn't want it. It's all right, Rick Benoit. You want to go Benoit? I didn't want to step on. You that. can go anywhere you want. Big nice shot here. Sterner's got to cover this one, and he does. So now we move on to the tenth. Oh, 
remember finished second at the PBA World Championship last year, lost in that roll off. Two, four, five. Second time he's faced it this week. Covers it again. One more shot. Yeah. See the max score, 217 for Sterner. And it will be a 217. Belmonte just needs a mark. This shot, solid at the line. He gets to watch the whole thing. The ball just runs everything right into the pit. His sixth strike of the match, giving him the win. Belmo will continue to roll out. Well, he looked at another ball there, guys, and um, just trying to see what kind of options he may have. He's going to go to a third ball now. He's looking for the best reaction and what gives him the biggest margin of error. Right, and not only that, let's say the first ball, uh, you know, lets him down. He gets now to at least have a comfort zone with two others. That one may be not as comfortable to him <laughs> as the <laughs> first two. 231, 217, the final. 35th year, the Tournament of Champions has been held here inside historic Riviera Lanes in Fairlawn, Ohio, just outside of Akron, just south of Cleveland. We are set for match number two, and it is three versus five. Matt Ogle set to take on Jason Belmonte. Advantageous lead in the TV comfort department over Mr. Ogle. First career singles television appearance for the 38-year-old from Louisville. I'll see your strike and I'll match it with one of my own. Guys, two players. I mean, Jason Belmonte has had a influence on all of bowling and so many players, even one-handers, are converting to the two-hand style. And that's why power lead two hands. And it just laid there. I mean, just game number two and already left of the middle arrow. Right. See ya. Oh, boy. Yeah, guys, I remember my first shot ever on television was a... Talk about that first time, and you, you remember it quite vividly, as as do I. Handed high rev players. Yes, unless they're playing just left of their previous track, which they both are. Oof. So you know, in the golf, does it make the release point more critical? Of course. Oh yeah, a good point there. But if they get a little bit of track right of them, then it doesn't. Then it's all in their favor. This is the four pin once this week. Takes care of Kyle Troop, who's moving out to Louisville. Take care of his spread. And the 10 pin this week is Ogle. We got it. So we mentioned this is his first single eight moment. Family here today with Ogle as well. He is your three seed at the TOC. Belmo in the sixth, looking for a double. <laughs> On Fox, Matt Ogle, Jason Belmonte. Ogle down 32. And this is not going to help. Did it yet this week. 0 for 3, going after the 210. It'll be 0 for 4.
much, much better. Which I don't think he'll get. I don't either. Ooh, yeah, that's right. Little baby nudge. Amazing. All those instructional videos. Amazing guy. Top bowling in over 50 countries, Jason. Belmonte, another strike. You know what's been fascinating about Belmo here on TV at the TOC this week? Has never had a solo, standalone strike. Every time he struck, another one has followed. Yeah. Always been a pair of strikes. And that's huge in the game of bowling. When you score it, you know, without that second strike or third, then it just is a mark. The lead at... 55 inside Riviera Lanes. And, you know, you say those two words, Riviera Lanes, show some respect to it. And, Randy, there is something unique about this facility. Sure is. That street and look for your shield. I remember that, that drive, looking for my name. Double cleans it up. You know, you always felt like a like a professional, like you were somebody was in this building. Over with the strike. Here, here, Randy. I could not tell you how proud you were to walk through those. No. Runner up, my friend, yes. in 2003. He needs this to stay alive. Game over. Belmonte over moving on, and he will face. For Jason Belmonte. Four? Four. Remember? Somebody's on a, on a run. Somebody's actually on a run. For sure. Yeah. Beat Andrew Anderson. Best three on earth. At the moment. At the moment. <laughs> kind of sounds like he just introed the three, four, and five hitters for the Yankees. Right? Last year, I need for him to get this experience because he's coming back. <laughs> going to go with it. Probably the right one. I mean, he knows what he's doing. Dallas Strikers? Well, that's the PBA League. Coming your way this summer. Yeah, three-time defending champion Portland Lumberjacks. Great way. Great way. 37 for Belmo. And four straight wins. Two more wins. And he's got himself yet another about that start for Simonson. Yeah, and how about Simonson going straight out of the gate and then leaving that little shaker 8-10? Yeah, kind of unlucky there, you know? Yep. That, that ball can strike right here. I mean, he catches enough of the head pin to catch the two pin, but it can't get to the eight. Not what he wanted to see. Open frame to start. Jason Belmonte, Randy, we've been talking about it since Friday. Who's going to go on a run? Who's going to go on a run here at the TOC with this un unprecedented 17-man step ladder final? And Belmo's on that run right now. Four straight, looking to make it five straight wins. Left the 10-pin there. And we talked about it before we went to break, and Belmonte's going with a different bowling ball here against Simonson. Looks like he's moved farther left. He liked it. I liked it. Ten pin didn't like it. This will be by far Belmo's best outing of the season. Burning an early re-rack. That's why he's got a turkey. No. To be able to bowl on a pair of exclusive lanes. Not at all, as we welcome you to the beer frame, sponsored by Paps Blue Ribbon of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Ask for the original, please oh, drink man. responsibly, and that is now four straight for Simonson. Man. Oh, 
another 10 pin. You know, and I was thinking if the Simonson cat gets comfy playing that line, uh, look out. Well, any of the remaining three, if they get comfy, look out. This looked comfy. That's two out of the three 10 pins on the right lane, and the one that he got was, was skinny. So you can bet he's concerned with it. X2. Rob's favorite. <laughs> More letters, please. Got a hold. Oh, good. See that? Right here. A little bit of left. And it laid there. I think break point. Okay. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, fresh out of commercial break, which is a tough shot to throw. He threw it. I mean, I could have went either way. That's a strike. Eight out of ten. Upper body gets parallel to the floor. Simonson labels that shot and leaves the stone seven. Simonson down by one after that crappy break he just got in the sixth. So he leaves that squishing 8-10, Norm. He follows it up with, I think it's four in a row. I can't see the scoreboard. Yep, four in a row. And then he leaves that solid seven, and now that shaker 10. Um, it's really the only thing that's separating the two. Now, keep in mind, Belmonte, two ring and 10 pins. Yeah, all solid shots, every one of them. That's what we expect from yep. these two and EJ Tackett yeah, yeah. coming on. Belmo five titles last season, looking for his first here in 2023. Got a hook. First time he has not paired strikes together on television through our coverage of this edition of the TOC. Fortunate here, Norm, I think. Only leaving the 4-8. Yeah, fortunate. I mean, that, that was right on the edge of the cliff. Yeah, but I still think that he got it where he wanted Really? He said that. that no, that was right of where he wanted Well, he said that. Well, he said, I still liked it. Look out. Okay. Uh, obviously, from the bar reaction, that was right on the edge of the cliff. Oh, boy. Got it Didn't off. like it. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. First Aaron shot. Look at the numbers here, folks. You're only allowed to miss by an arrow if you're over there. Ooh. There was some dig. And Jason did miss by at least as much the last shot, but it held pocket now. That's Simonson's call. in an open frame in the foundation frame ninth. Yeah, oh, that's boy. Simonson's call to play right of, of Belmonte's. Belmo can put the hammer down. Oh, my goodness. Nine pin. The audacity. It looks like they just set that up right after he got, you know, 10. He, he strikes, and then here comes the henchman. He throws that nine pin right back up. Ball goes right by it. The survivor to take on EJ Tackett, your one seat. Oh, I've never seen anyone fidget like you. It's awesome. Me, me either. A mark, and Belmo moves on to our title match. Likes it. For and good it. reason. Belmo Tackett coming up next. <laughs> the satisfying moment of the match, sponsored by Snickers. Nothing satisfies like a Snickers, but nothing will satisfy that man. Jason Belmonte like another major title. He is one win away from his 15th major title. It's that stat, Norm, that leads a lot of people to say that is why he is the greatest this sport has ever seen. Yeah, I mean, after two rounds in this week, he's 150 pins out of the cut with six games to go. I was asked, is that too many? Well, for most, way too many for most. Yeah. Not Belmo. He made it, and now he is bowling for the title. I don't even know how many pins he was behind EJ Tackett after two rounds. It was it was more than you want to count. 
Try that again. Looking at another ball. So Felmo with the 219. Okay, ball over. That's his low for the day. One more. What a duel it will be. Jason Belmonte has run that ladder, going all the way back to last night. <laughs> Opening strike for Belmo. Wire to wire this week as the number one man at the TOC. His opening shot in the final left of target, and he's got some. 3 6 10, the second most common leave this week at the Tournament of Champions. What was the most common? Uh, 10 pin, ten I believe. Pin. Yeah, 10 pin. Oh, EJ. Missed that open frame. Oh, EJ. All right. 3 6 10, the second most common leave this week at the Tournament of Champions. What was the most common? Uh, 10 pin, ten I believe. Pin. Yeah, 10 pin. Oh, EJ. Missed that open frame. Oh, EJ. All right. A huge accomplishment for Jason. He's since added to it. We'll try to continue that run today. Gets a late drop. Not, Not today. today. Check it out. Uh, just a little love tap on the four. Seven. Nice shot. Versus EJ. Nine pins separating these two. We close out the four. Belmo looking for two in a row and finding it. I mean, this is just kind of shaping up to be a dog fight, don't you think? I mean. One pin separates these three five, and that one through the nose. Right and hey, look what was left. Three, six, ten. Left, think a little push is going to happen, and they get a check instead. Oh, DJ. Just Not again. Missed it. Open frame. His second. And both on the 3 6 10. He's going to crack that door open. He's going to kick it open. And he's going to run right through it. The lead at 16. Just throwing haymakers. And what a way to take advantage of that opening. You know it may be your day when things like that happen. Huge break. We begin the eighth. EJ tapped it. He's still in the game. Uh, tilted and they can go full speed all out all the time. The LeBron, six in a row. Here. Yeah, this is a belated six-pack alert, and we are alerting you that a six-pack has been cracked open. Belmo wins $1,000, sponsored by Paps Blue Ribbon of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Please remember to drink responsibly. Six straight strikes for Belmo. The lead has swelled to 46. These strikes in this shot right here, this is over. Oh, oh that, was, that was my best one. <laughs> I'll drop the price. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get, a, dis at, Can I get a discount? Both arms raised right Premature after celebration. 50s after two rounds of this tournament. Almost, almost insurmountable to get even to the cut. Remember, he had to win twice last night. Any kind of big miss. And I'm still in. Golly, Ned, man. Jason Belmonte is going to win his 15th major. Numbers are staggering. Belmo wins it sitting down. <sighs> Seen through the course of the season, this is not the EJ Tackett you are going to continue to see through this PBA campaign. Belmonte just joined the party. Yes, he did. Party is a lot more fun when Mr. Belmont is around. I even moved. 
bounce. Now he simply made four out of the last you. six TV thank shows. You guys so much. You guys are an awesome crowd. Thank you. Okay. Congratulations, man. Yeah, I'll Very be cool. one of the most sickest runs. <laughs> thank you, mate. Guys, okay. see you next week. To all of my family that have woke up at three in the morning to watch today, I love you guys so very much. Are you kidding me? 31 tour titles, 15 majors, unfathomable his first win of the season in commanding fashion. Jason Belmonte is your four-time TOC champ. My man. You're incredible, man. You are incredible. You pushed me so hard, man. Yep. 15, brother. It's incredible. 15. Right here. That's all. Thanks, Rob. Well, joining us now is the commissioner of the PBA, Tom Clark, with the trophy presentation. Thanks, Kimberly. Uh, Belmo, on behalf of the PBA, congratulations once again adding to your legacy. You become the first player to ever win four PBA Tournament of Champions titles. Congratulations. <laughs> this trophy so let's talk about the fact that you have now won this four times in a row no one's ever done it 15 majors you once again made history adding to your legacy tell us about this moment I, I, I look back at the at the moment I was 58th after the first round and I think I climbed a few stops after that uh, in the second round and so when I look back I realize I can I can just always always get there and this is another one of those times where just when you think you can't you got to find it in yourself to believe you can and and this is going to be one to remember forever well a comfortable demo is a very scary demo and i think in the second match everybody saw you get comfortable so what is it about the majors that bring out the absolute best in you they just have that little extra meaning and, and you just, not that you ever not want to focus in the other events, but for some reason you just narrow your focus even more in the big ones. Not to mention that there's a billion games to play and so you, you have plenty of time and you can stay patient and you know you can get on a bit of a run and make, uh, make some pins up. So, you know, that's where I think I, I do my best work in the majors and uh, I can't believe that I have another one of these beautiful TOC trophies. What does it mean to you to win the fourth TOC here in this historic Riviera Lanes? In front of this crowd. Yeah, I, look, this was a, a rematch with EJ from, uh, from a few years ago. And the way that he's been bowling, if I can just take a minute to say, EJ Tackett is incredible, absolutely incredible. Yeah. And uh, to walk out onto this pair of lanes, see him in the title match, um, that's what I want to, that's, that's the person that I want to beat the most. Uh, these are the pair of lanes that uh, have the most meaning in our game, this bowling centre does too, so it was amazing. Congratulations on your win.